To find out how Frederick Senior managed to lead a double life, Warwick's meeting local historian Carol Roberts. Let's have a look at his life in Croydon. This is dated January 1841, and it's what's called a rate book. Right, and, and 1841 was the year that Frederick Junior was born. Yes, yeah. that's true. This is a list of those that were due to pay the rates in Croydon. Which so... is the sort of tax. Yes. Ah, so there's Frederick there. We'll follow this across that's here. Right. That's the rateable value. £28.10. And... Now, this is the next year. This is the rate book of January 1842. This is George Street. We're no longer yeah. in the High Street, so he has moved around the corner to George Street in Better. Croydon. Let's have a look. That figure there. £13.10. Yes. This is half the price. Exactly. He's gone down market here. Or maybe he had to reduce his outgoings because he is indeed supporting another family in Deptford, perhaps paying rent over there as well. I can't imagine he could carry this on for long without something breaking. <laughs> Do you know any more about that part of the story? Because I want to figure out how it all ends for him. I'm hoping it all ends well. Well, in 1870, his wife Sophia dies. Oh. And then six months after that, something else happens. So this is a marriage certificate between Frederick John Durban and Sarah King. Wasn't he already married to her? Haven't I seen that somewhere? That's right. There What's was a marriage in 1856. I see. So she's... Even though they were already married, they did it again legally this time because his wife had passed away, Sophia, at this point. This was about six months after. So he didn't hang died. about, did he? He thought, he I'm going to get this sorted now before yes. I get found out. There was yeah. always the chance that someone else could have discovered this, even after the fact. Yes, they were taking a chance, and the marriage in Deptford was actually by bands, which meant that uh, the bands were read out yes. in church three consecutive Sundays before they actually married. So um, if anyone had, from Croydon had been in Deptford in church... They could have shouted out. Hang on a minute, yes. Mm. And, and something that intrigues me, and whether you'll be able to answer this, I don't know, was whether these two families knew of each other. Was this an arrangement or was yes. it very sort of cloak and dagger? Yes. Well, we have no actual evidence, but no. you might like to have a look at this document. So this is a will. That's right. Of Frederick John Durban. It's quite hard to read, even though it is beautiful. We have a transcript, if it helps. Thank you very much. Frederick John Durban, do will and bequeath to my daughter Sophia Elizabeth Rowe five pounds. Would you have been delighted? Oh, it's worth having. A fiver? I wouldn't have been delighted, but let's move on. It um, acknowledges her, doesn't it, as his, as oh, his okay. daughter? Oh, OK. All right. So, and then to Charles, his son, five pounds yep. as well. What I've noticed that Frederick Junior is not mentioned on here. Is that right? Have a look down the names. John Durban. Oh, well, my son, Frederick Durban, five pounds. So he's acknowledged all of his children in one will here. Taking what I know of Frederick Senior, I don't think he would have left that to, uh, as a surprise for the family once he'd passed on. It would have been nice to, to paint a picture in th that they all lived together. Warwick's come to Queen's Road Cemetery in Croydon to find where Frederick Senior is buried. So would this be this curve here? Over this way. See, what happens if it's this one? You'd never be able to tell. It could be this. No. No. I'm oh, sorry, Frederick. I don't think I'm going to exactly find where you are, but I know you're around here somewhere. Without those chance moments, that time that Frederick met Sarah, Without that one encounter, which I would absolutely love to have known what that was, 
how did they meet? Did he knock on her door one day with some post and, you know, say, oh, hello? And she was just, oh, you know, oh, well, what happened? You know, did they meet in a pub? I mean, it, and, but without that moment, that chance meeting, I wouldn't be standing here now talking about them as a person. You know, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? You know, it's a shame I couldn't have met Frederick Senior because I feel he was the kind of guy I could have got on with. He wasn't a scallywag. Because there was a point in the story where I was thinking, hang on a minute, maybe we've got a bit of a naughty one on our hands here, but uh, he's come out of this, you know, as a decent human being. And, um, yeah, I would have liked to have bought him a pint.